Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. We will talk about how accounting works and its importance. So if you are an accounting student, and uh, this video is for you, and especially for the beginners, and also if you are someone who is planning to start a business or uh, even a small business, so I, I hope this video will help. So please don't forget to click the subscribe button below and drop your comments. I would like to hear what would you like me to discuss the, on my next video. So why accounting is important? Uh, first of all, we need to know the primary motive or yung pinakamotibo ni business owner if he is going to uh, start a business. So of course, the main motive of the business owner is to gain to gain profit so this is the primary motive of the business owner so wala naman siguro magtatayo ng negosyo upang maggain uh, na nag-aim ng logi di ba so it's always to gain profit so by simply recording your your total expenses and your income for the day, uh, you are already doing a simple accounting. So halimbawa, if you are recording your your total expenses for the day sa iyong business, and then uh, you will deduct it from your total income for that day. Income less expenses. You, uh, ang resulta, yun ang tinatawag nating profit. So, if your income, kapag ang kita ay mas malaki kaysa mga nagastos, magkakaroon ka ng profit sa iyong negosyo. Kapag naman ang expenses ay mas malaki sa income, mas malaki yung mga nagastos kaysa kinita, so of course, ang magiging resulta ay loss or logi and uh, kapag naman equal si income is equal to expenses the result is zero or yun ang tinatawag nating break even so wala kang profit pero wala ka rin logi so ibig sabihin tamang tama lamang na nabawi mo yung kapital but you don't have any profit you don't have any loss so, by simply recording that, uh, you are actually doing a simple accounting already. So, in order for us to understand how accounting works, especially sa mga baguhan or sa mga accounting beginners, uh, let's have the illustration. So, ilagay natin si business dito sa on top. So, again, motibo ni business kapag nagtayo, nagtayo ng negosyo is to gain profit. So, paano malalaman ni business owner kung paano yung naging takbo ng kanyang negosyo or uh, how a business owner can monitor or can track all the transactions uh, and how it affect on, on his uh, business. So, of course, dito napapasok si accounting. So, mas, it is very important to record all your daily transactions because, syempre, hindi mo rin naman ma-memorize yung lahat ng mga nangyayari sa yung negosyo even just in a day. So, how much more uh, for a week or for a month, diba? So, it is very important to record your business transactions. So, dyan na nagsisimula ang ating accounting process. So, by recording, ma, namomonitor ni business owner yung paglabas at pagpasok ng pera sa negosyo. So, of course, in order to have a good record and accurate si business, pwede siyang mag-hire ng bookkeeper. or accounting staff. So, si bookkeeper or si accounting staff, sila yung uh, responsible 
for recording all the business transactions. I mean, recording business transactions. So, uh, question, can a bookkeeper or an accounting staff uh, can record all the business transactions? So, ang sagot po, hindi. Uh, ano, ano yung pwedeng i-record lamang ni bookkeeper or ni accounting staff? So, um, of course, only those transactions which uh, which are financial in character. Financial in character. So, anong ibig sabihin? Yun lamang pong mga transactions which involves money. Ang, yung may mga kinalaman lamang po sa pera, yun lang po yung pwedeng i-record ni bookkeeper or ni accounting staff. Hindi na included yung halimbawa si business owner nakipag-meeting sa isang kliyente today and then uh, wala namang na-involve na pera. Uh, they just talk about business and and something like that uh, but uh, walang pera na involved so of course hindi na dapat i-record ni ni bookkeeper yun only those uh, transactions which involves money so saan na record ang ating uh, business transactions which are financial in character so meron tayong tinatawag na book of accounts So, ang ating book of accounts, dyan lahat nakarecord ang ating mga business transactions sa ating business. So, in real life, merong iba't ibang book of accounts. Uh, merong journal, uh, journal for the sales, uh, ledger, for, and then ledger are for the expenses. I mean, for the purchases, yung mga nabili mo, at then, meron ding uh, tinatawag nilang columnar para sa yung mga expenses. So, but, um, in this video, we will talk only uh, the the proper the proper accounting process or uh, hindi na muna natin mas palaliman yung ating discussion kasi uh, me also, I don't have any uh, real life experience sa isang business, uh, I am only sharing my knowledge, especially to those uh, accounting students, beginners. At upang mas maintindihan kung paano nag-work yung accounting at or kung ano yung accounting process. So again, balik tayo dito. Uh, book of accounts, ito yung nagsisilbi nating diary. Ito yung diary ng ating business. Diyan natin nakikita ang lahat ng business transactions which involved uh, money. So, after that, uh, syempre, meron accounting staff or bookkeeper, meron ding accountants. So, si accountants, sila na yung, uh, so after recording, uh, the accountants will now do the interpreting and analyzing of those uh, business transactions na nare-record sa ating book of accounts. So, lahat ng records here, yun na yung i-interpret and i-analyze ni accountants. So, uh, the work of the accountants are the most sensitive part in the accounting process actually. So, uh, wait, balik tayo dito. Uh, si bookkeeper or si accounting staff ba, pwede ba siyang mag-record ng transactions in the book of accounts without uh, enough evidence so of course not uh, si ang pwede lamang nilang they can only record transactions which involves money in the book of accounts kapag merong i mean dapat mayroong ebidensya so like uh, sales invoices like um, receipts sa lahat ng yung mga na purchase so dapat meron dapat mayroong ebidensya na proof na uh, magkano yung halaga and then and then so uh, dito na yung mga na record now i-analyze na and i-interpret ni accountants so na si accountants ng report form na tinatawag nating financial statements siguro marami din uh, marami sa inyo nagtatanong bakit kailangan ng why is it important to record the day-to-day -to -day transactions in a business? Uh, bakit hindi na lang bilangin kung 
kung ilan yung pera and, and of course as i have said earlier no it is very important to record business transactions kasi hindi mo naman uh, memorize yung lahat especially if your business is a, a little bit bigger or medyo may kalakihan yung business so mahirap tandaan kung ano yung mga nabili kung ilan yung nabay ilan yung binayad mo for this for that and um aside from that also why uh why do we need to record day-to-day -day business transactions is because it is also required by the government agency lalo na yung BIR or yung Bureau of Internal I mean um So yeah, the Bureau of Internal Revenue or the BIR, uh, they also require uh, every business to record all their business transactions. Bakit? Kasi dyan nagbabase yung BIR uh, kung uh, ilan yung due mo for the internal government taxes. No? So yung buwis. So dapat meron kang record to have an accurate computation for your uh, internal taxes okay so let's go back to our accounting process so the end of as i have said ang last na process sa ating accounting ay yung si accountant ay gagawa na ng report form na tinatawag nating financial statement so there are different kinds of financial statements meron tayong balance sheet incomes income statement uh statement of owners equity and meron pang iba so for the beginners, the most important to understand are the balance sheet, the income statement, and the statement of owner's equity. So, I will also discuss one by one on my next videos. So, financial statements, I will give an overview. It is now the end products of our accounting process. and products of our accounting process so uh for you to understand more about financial statements so hal uh si business nandito si business owner nandito sa kabilang side guys ito yung dapat ninyong tandaan kapag kapag nag-start kayo ng business dapat si business at yung may-ari, dapat laging nakasiparate yan. Hindi pwedeng paghaloin. Kasi dyan nagsisimula yung uh, pagkalito mo sa yung transaction. So, dapat yung personal na pera ni business, ni business owner, ay hindi mamix sa pera ni business. So, they are, they are always separated. So, yan ang pinaka-importante. Isa sa pinaka-importante, no? So, so, ayan, si business at si business owner are separated. So, how can a business owner, uh, how we call this, uh, paano, paano malalaman ni business owner yung nangyayari kay business? So, dyan na yung uh, ating end products, uh, the financial statements will, do, will now serve as the bridge between the business and the business owner. So, si financial statements ay nagsisolving bridge of communication. So, lahat ng nakasulat sa financial statements, yun ang babasahin ni business owner upang malaman niya kung ano ang nangyayari sa kanyang business at uh, kung ano yung mga transactions na nakaka-apikto or uh, and so many other information that financial statements can provide. So, we will end our discussion uh, until uh, this topic. Uh, on my next video, we will talk about financial statements and uh, more other third parties or users who are interested for this. And I hope you uh, learned something from my video. Please drop your comments uh, down below. Thank you and have a nice day.